This is the UI. Click on the pink and see the console topping. Click on the yellow and see the console bottom yellow. Inside the code, go to the widget tree. We have scaffold materials tag with the children. This is the bottom yellow and this is the top pink. It's an elevated button with the sized box and an on pressed with the top pink and some styles. When we click on the pink part, it prints top pink. Wrap this center widget with the absorb pointer. Save and now press the pink widget. Look at the console. Press the pink widget. Absorb pointer, absorb the press. Now you can't able to click on this pink widget because it is wrapped inside the absorb pointer. Absorb pointer has an argument absorbing. You can make it true or false. By making it false and click on this pink, you can see the debug console top pink. Just make the absorbing true. Save. Try to click on this pink widget. You can't able to click on it. Now, let's use another widget. Replace this absorb pointer with ignore pointer. And remove this absorbing. Save. And now, when we click on the pink widget, it should write the pink. And it's writing bottom yellow, which means pink widget is not pressable, but the widget below it, bottom yellow is pressable. We can disable this ignore pointer by adding the ignoring value of false. Save it. And now, when we click on the pink widget, it should write top pink. By using ignore pointer and top pointer, you can easily ignore touch events inside Flutter. 